I got a few Roman Schmalz colors, and they are very similar to uh, Daniel Smith's Moon Glow and Da Vinci's Artemis, so I thought I'd go ahead and swatch them out since now we have four colors to look at. The Shadow Violet is not as similar, but because of the pigment numbers, I thought I'd go ahead and do that one as well. So I'm just going to start with Da Vinci's Artemis. Daniel Smith's Moon Glow real quick. That is not dark enough. Alright, there we go. And now for Roman Schmalz. Crispy's Gray. I think that's how you pronounce that. It's probably not how you pronounce that, but that's okay. They're really pigmented. This is my first experience with Roman Schmalls, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. Which is good because I bought like 40 colors. Okay, Shadow Violet. Oops. Alright. So let's just wait for these to dry. So now that these are dry, you can go ahead and take a look. This first one's Artemis. I went ahead and drew a mass tone line at the bottom of these. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And we have Moon Glow. And then the Roman Schmalz. Pritzby's Gray. And then their Shadow Violet. And I went ahead and mixed these. First, I'm going to... I did this earlier. This is on a global arts travelogue. And I went ahead with Quinburnt Orange, because I had it in my palette. I just went ahead and mixed these. So this is Artemis. Moon Glow. Pritzby's Gray, and then Shadow Violet, and they neutralize really well. So that's it. That's the colors.